Stories sell. Just think about it. Go to any social gathering and the most popular people are the ones telling the best stories. When marketing a home, each one has a story. Whether it be the amenities of the house, the surrounding area, or the local attractions, we're selling more than brick and mortar. I'm Michael Lafito, the founder and CEO of Marketing Luxury Group. I teach real estate professionals like you the importance of marketing luxury properties using storytelling techniques. Let's take five minutes to talk about how you can find a property story and make it sing with creative marketing. We're selling a lifestyle, we're selling protection, we're selling safety, and we're selling laughs and fun. We're in a dating app world where people are swiping left, swiping right on homes just like they do on other apps. So how we market homes with photos, video and more will position that home for a quick and successful sale. How do you create the marketing story? First, you have to know what buyers in the market and price range are looking for. Then you need to highlight the areas of the home, the neighborhood or the area that would trigger those desires. The first thing I do when taking a listing is what I call a SWOT analysis, strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Remember, people buy on emotion. As far as strengths, is it the curb appeal, an updated kitchen, spacious home office? Once you identify the strengths, you know what to highlight. Same with the weaknesses. Does the property back to power lines? Does it have an outdated kitchen? This helps you identify what not to highlight. Opportunities are anything the seller can do to make the house stand out better, such as painting, neutralizing smells, and landscaping. Finally, you have threats. One threat may be the neighbor with the larger house listed for less than your listing. Once you identify these elements, the story becomes clear. If the home has a fantastic backyard with a fire pit and lots of privacy, these pictures should be front and center in your marketing, and your message should include the opportunity to entertain, have long chats surrounding the fire pit, talk about the outdoor living, and more. Lifestyle marketing is about the potential of the home and its special amenities. So if the home has an open floor plan, but you know that a larger percent of potential buyers are looking for smaller rooms, you could get feedback from a contractor about the potential to reconfigure the space. For everything from an average price to high-end home, it may even pay to have renderings drawn to get an estimate of what it would cost. If I get a lot of feedback from buyers that they want a less open floor plan, I may show them the potential of having the home remodeled. Sometimes buyers just need to see the possibilities and that turns a potential weakness into an opportunity. I caution you to be cognizant of fair housing laws in your marketing. Maybe the house has a game room and you want to say it would be perfect for a growing family, but that would be a potential violation. Instead, you might want to talk about the fun of hosting a game night party or how they might turn that room into a movie room. The key to telling a property story is to identify it first. Once you do that, highlight the strengths and the opportunities, then you help the buyers visually move into the home.